Hi, in this video, I will tell you about 15 great pixel art open world games. The first one is Nova Lands. It is a role-playing game with elements of strategy and pixel graphics, where we will be building a new home on a distant planet using various resources such as wood, stones, minerals, and more. There is the ability to unlock various buildings and then gain new abilities for automation. To improve conditions, you also need to travel through a world consisting of different islands, fight monsters and bosses. Little Witch in the Woods Here, we will play as a witch's apprentice who sets off to explore a strange forest, helping its inhabitants and developing her skills. The gameplay focuses on resource gathering, potion brewing, and exploring the mysterious world. When interacting with creatures, the heroine will record useful information in her witch's book. As we progress through the story, we will explore the fantastic world, discover different areas, meet local residents, interact with them, and encounter whimsical creatures. The Survivalists here, we will find ourselves on an uncharted island and try to survive. To increase our chances of survival, we can team up with up to four players online and conquer the island together. The game offers not only rich survival opportunities but also sandbox features like crafting necessary items, taming monkeys for routine work, and building our own settlements. There is also animal hunting, constant clashes with local aborigines, and the opportunity to plunder ancient temples in search of treasures. Atami Crops. This game challenges us to take care of a farm in a post-apocalyptic world with roguelike elements, where both a hole for tilling the soil and a gun for defense against mutants are equally valuable. By growing vegetables, we will feed settlers, increase profits, and develop our holdings. The goal of the game is to survive for one year, divided into four seasons. Each season consists of three days. During the day, our farm is undisturbed, and you can venture outside its boundaries to raid nearby camps in search of random items that will help you with farming or survival. However, at night, your territory will be attacked by monsters in multiple waves. Towards the end of the season, bosses will also arrive. After each day of survival, you will be evacuated to the town where you sell your harvested crops and acquire new items and abilities. Westerado Double Barrel A western with pixel graphics, a non-linear storyline, and an open world. It features multiple playable characters, a variety of weapons to choose from, a lot of humor, various easter eggs, and references. It even has an engaging plot that connects a chain of diverse quests, from detective investigations to intense shootouts with outlaws and Native Americans. While it may not be Red Dead Redemption, it's an honest pixel art side-scroller set in an open world about the Wild West. Octopath Traveler, a Japanese RPG that takes you on a perilous adventure to save the world. You'll assemble a team of different heroes, battle terrifying monsters, and influence the fate of this world with your decisions. The game stands out with its unique visual design, combining pixel art with three-dimensional imagery. You'll be able to sail the seas and explore every corner of a world that changes from day to night. Each hero has a unique set of actions they can use to fight enemies and acquire items. Underrail. This is a turn-based isometric RPG in the old-school style from an independent developer, focusing on world exploration and battles. The game is set in a distant future where the surface of the planet has long been completely lifeless. The last bastion of humanity is a giant, branching network of underground metro stations divided into various factions. The player takes control of one of the inhabitants of such stations. The main character finds themselves at the center of the conflict between warring factions, fighting for survival in the underground world. Sun Haven. Here, you can expect familiar farm activities, but beyond the farm, you'll encounter magic, monsters, and dragons. The game itself resembles an MMORPG with dungeon exploration, battles with various monsters, and treasure hunting. Character development is worth mentioning as well. The skill tree consists of hundreds of points. One farm can accommodate eight players who can develop the farm together, embark on dangerous expeditions, and simply have fun.
Roots of Pasha. It is a sandbox game with elements of a role-playing game and a farm simulator set in a primitive world. Initially, it only requires you to explore, gather, and process various resources, explore wild lands, and tame animals. Later on, you can start developing tools, planning a city, increasing the population, choosing a religion, uncovering secrets in the depths of dark caves, and much more. Roots of Pasha also offers the ability to customize your character's appearance and progress with friends in cooperative mode. Dave the Diver This is a game about a guy who loves diving. He lives by the sea and constantly seeks out new adventures, of which there are plenty in the local waters, ranging from encounters with amusing fish to visiting ancient temples of vanished civilizations. Here, we will explore the depths of the sea and catch fish, which we will then prepare in a sushi restaurant and serve to our guests. The more exquisite the dishes, the more money you will earn. With the money, you can buy upgraded equipment to dive even deeper. Chained Echoes. This is a 16-bit role-playing game set in a fantasy world where dragons exist and piloted robots are a reality. A group of heroes travels across a vast continent to put an end to the war between three kingdoms. Throughout their journey, they will traverse various biomes, from desert plateaus and exotic archipelagos to sunken cities and dungeons. There are plenty of skills and characters, some of which you can acquire through side quests, allowing you to assemble a team to your liking. Zed Zone. This is a classic zombie game in the spirit of Project Zomboid, with a wide variety of mechanics, loot, weapons, and different types of zombies. It features dynamic combat and location exploration. The game is in early access, so there are some bugs, but the developer is addressing them quickly. I've had a lot of fun playing it, and even after 10 hours, I still feel that it's one of the best in its genre, and it will only improve with more content and bug fixes. Death Trash is a non-linear isometric role-playing game set in a post-apocalyptic setting that invites us to explore the remnants of a destroyed civilization. Dangers await the protagonist at every corner, and the oppressive atmosphere is organically complemented by cyberpunk elements. Death Trash can be played solo or in split-screen mode with friends. The gameplay includes exploring locations, real-time battles with enemies, stealth mechanics, and interacting with characters encountered along the hero's path. Additionally, the development of the main character's abilities is incorporated. For example, you can experience social skills for persuasion or intimidation, as well as agility for stealing items. Kinseed is a colorful pixelated sandbox game with RPG elements that offers a variety of interesting activities. Players can engage in farming, explore the in-game world, and participate in trading. The game's genealogical tree is worth mentioning, as it allows the deeds started by deceased ancestors to be continued by their heirs. In addition to typical genre activities, the developers provide opportunities to explore dangerous zones and encounter amazing creatures. It's worth noting that many NPCs with whom players have good relationships can offer assistance in various situations. Starbound is a 2D pixelated sandbox game where players not only develop their own farm and build shelters but also engage in battles with various monsters lurking in deep caves. Moreover, players can venture off the planet in their own spaceship and explore other worlds, as the environment is procedurally generated. The game also features diverse quests, and the environment is fully destructible. That's all thank you for watching, the Image Game channel was with you, have a good day.